This is Western Mass News. The governor making a stop today here in Western Mass to talk about her Affordable Housing Act, which she hopes will aid with the state's need for more affordable housing options. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News 11 at 11. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson is in studio tonight with the details. Maria. Chris, as the state finds itself in the midst of a housing crisis and many people are unable to find affordable housing, Governor Healy says that she recognizes the need and has set into motion an Affordable Housing Act, hoping that people right here in Western Mass can benefit from it. Last month, the Healy administration proposed a sweeping $4 billion Affordable Housing Act. It's the largest of its kind in state history, and it aims to make houses more affordable to build and live in, pending legislative approval. And on Wednesday, the governor made a stop in Amherst to hear from those who are directly on the ground, working with those struggling to afford a place to live. And what we really appreciate is that you did craft a lot of it to be focused on Western Mass. You thought about, about Western Mass. For it. And the bill is bold. It's, it's visionary. We have an affordability challenge in the state of Massachusetts, but here in Amherst, um, we need more affordable housing. And with nearly 7,400 families currently in shelters across the state, many of them migrants, Governor Healy says the time to act is now. But to get to where we need to go, we know we need we need uh, far greater capital investments and we've got to find a way to leverage public dollars and private investment and just incent development for really a range of incomes around the state. The fact of the matter is no matter where we go, every region is hurting people. Many at Wednesday's event agree. Residents in Amherst are struggling. A significant number of people in the valley are in fact strapped because of the rent. So when that happens, that means they're also now making choices between dinner or rent, medicine or rent. And with nine out of the 90 shelters right here in Western Mass, the issue hitting home for many community leaders like State Representative Mindy Dome. And on Wednesday, a judge ruling in favor of the governor's cap on the number of families in shelters. I haven't had a chance to review the ruling. I will say that we have reached capacity when it comes to shelter space, provider availability, and also funding. It's why we continue to call on the federal government for assistance. We also received an update from one of the local shelters earlier tonight. Senator Joe Comerford telling us that Hadley Select, telling the Hadley Select Board that about 11 families in the Night Inn in Hadley are staying there at this time. The town is working to bring on an on-site service coordinator, which she says has the backing of the state. Reporting in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News. Maria, thank you.